It's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 20th of September. I'm Michael Groff. Looking outside this morning, some clouds out there, lots of high clouds, in fact, and that will be with us at least through the morning hours. Then we'll see decreasing clouds by this afternoon. No rainfall out of any of that, of course. Some breezy conditions at times, and temperatures will trend down just a little bit for the rest of the week, heading into the weekend and next week. Readings do come back up just a little bit to above normal levels, but nothing that ridiculous for late September and we will continue with very dry conditions. Let's talk about it first. The almanac from yesterday, 102 degrees the afternoon high, 76 was the morning low, normals at 177, and there's that record high of 111 from 2010. Looking outside right now here at 7 a.m., we've got cloudy sky out there this morning, 77 degrees at Sky Harbor, but it's very dry, dew point at 30, humidity 19%, wind from the east at 7, barometer is rising. The upper level weather pattern shows a little short wave coming at us from the west, and you might think, ooh, that could give us some rain. No, it is just too dry around here for that. Uh, so despite that feature coming through, all it's going to provide is some clouds and some breezy conditions. There's a deeper trough upstream from that over the Pacific Northwest, and that's going to help to keep temperatures down a little bit over the next few days. <clears throat> the watch warning map extremely quiet across the country. You have a flood watch over parts of northeast Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, some air quality issues for northwest Minnesota, and some frost and freeze advisories over sections of Oregon. Convective outlook, we do have a risk of severe storms against some of those same areas, uh, parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas. And just north of Arizona, some thunder possible today. The tropics in the Atlantic Basin, a few features to note here. There's a wave coming off the African coast, and that does have a decent chance to develop, about a 70% chance to develop over the next five to seven days, uh, about a 10% chance it'll develop over the next 48 hours. We've got another area of disturbed weather off of the coast of the southeast United States, and that could develop into something over the next few days. Uh, whether it will be a tropical system or sort of a mid-latitude cyclonic, more of a cold core system, that remains to be seen. And then we have Hurricane Nigel. That is out in the middle of nowhere, and it's going to stay in the middle of nowhere. Eventually, this will just scoot off to the northeast. It will become a post-tropical system and make its way toward Iceland. Uh, but that is not going to have any meaningful impact to the United States, of course. Uh, and probably won't affect much land at all. Uh, maybe, again, toward Iceland as a post-tropical system. All right, precipitation outlook valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide. There might be a shower storm someplace over northern and eastern Arizona. But even at that, the chances are fairly small. Not a lot of rainfall to be had as we are, again, in this post-monsoonal pattern fall pattern and that's what we're going to see we'll talk about it in more detail as we get to the models here we go the gfs the 06 z run valid at two o'clock today short wave approaching from the west trough over the pacific northwest what it all means for us down at the surface today mostly cloudy this morning becoming partly cloudy this afternoon breezy at times particularly to our west across southern california and the colorado river valley but we could see some winds maybe as gusting to 20 miles an hour here in phoenix this afternoon high temperatures today mid-90s to about 100, so relatively close to where we ought to be for this time of year. Tonight, mostly clear sky takes over. Overnight lows generally mid-60s to mid-70s. Tomorrow, really more of the same. Mostly sunny, high temperatures, mid to upper 90s. Friday, low to mid-90s with partly sunny sky. Saturday, quite a bit of high cloudiness around, around the southern periphery of a trough that's going to pass by and scoot on to the northeast. And that's 
going to result in just some clouds and breezy conditions for northern Arizona. Could there be a shower or storm someplace over the northern part of the state? I guess, but uh, the prospect of that fairly low. High temperatures, uh, again, stay somewhere in the mid to perhaps upper 90s. Upper 90s likely on Sunday, mostly sunny, and we could be up to around 100 degrees for Monday, 98 to 102 for Tuesday. Each day, the sky sunny, the air dry. Again, an isolated storm right on the eastern border of our state, but that's going to be about it for sensible weather around here. We stay sunny to mostly sunny each day with mostly clear nights and fairly pleasant temperatures in those overnight hours too, mostly in the 60s to uh, low 70s or so. Here's a week from today. This is Wednesday, the 27th. We've got another trough over the Pacific Northwest that's going to pass harmlessly by to the north of Arizona, but it will bring temperatures down a few degrees, if that's right. Then going out 10 days, this is Friday, the 29th. Zonal flow, dry conditions, and things look to be quiet. Speaking of, rainfall for Phoenix out through the 4th of October off the GFS Ensemble. Forget it. Just nothing. And temperatures off the national blend of models. And while we see a slight downtrend in temps for the rest of the week this weekend, we'll get back to around the century mark for parts of next week, upper 90s to about 100, you know, a little bit above average, but absolutely not out of bounds for late September. And that's it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. If you really enjoy these videos, then click that little thanks icon and donate to us monetarily if you're able to do so. Every little bit helps. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. I'm talking about my Michelle, so do check her out. All right, thank you so much for watching and all of your continued support. These videos would not be possible without you. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there and have yourselves a beautiful Wednesday.